What's good, Busta fam? If you don't know who I am, I'm Yeezy Busta. If you've been around, I appreciate you. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And you know what? Since you're already right next to the subscribe button, why don't you just hit that like button too? But anyway, so today is a very special day. Today is September 30th, 2017. The reason why today is such a special day, because a couple days ago, FaZe Banks had tweeted me. For a long time, I've been watching his content and his videos, and I've been watching Rice and everyone in the Cloud House. Cloud Gang, you know how it is. He invited me to come through to his Loose Change pop-up. So I'm super stoked to go check that out and go get a chance to hang out with all the guys from Cloud Gang. I'm about to leave right now, I'm on my way. I don't wanna be vlogging and driving at the same time because, you know, I'm not I'm not that badass. You got a badass over here. I'm about to get there. I'm most likely not gonna vlog inside just because I wanna have my hands free. I wanna be able to take pictures with you guys. I wanna be able to walk around. I wanna be able to do my thing. So, I'm most likely not gonna vlog the event, but I'm sure you guys will see it on Banks' vlog. Our first customer just walked in. Easy bus. This man just came in to show some love. I really appreciate it. My first I'm meeting him. If you guys don't know who he is. He hands out those L's. Kind of like rice. Where's rice at? He hands out those L's. He busts people with fake Yeezys. Guys, this is un this is unreal. Bro. This is unreal. Literally. We broke the world. You guys can all check that out. So um, I will be posting a few of my Snapchats and my Instagram stories. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me right here. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me right here. I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of the footage from the event. And then I'm gonna catch up with you guys after, so I'll see you in a bit. And we're back, guys. The event was unreal. Shout out to Banks for putting that together. Shout out to his idea, his concept. Like, I see the genius. Unbelievable how he was able to put all that together and get... Man, there was at least 2,000 people. And besides the fact that the pop-up did so well, it was doing so well that too many people were there and the cops had to shut it down. So it was absolutely crazy. And um, I'm just humbled and excited and happy to have been a part of it. And it was just so unreal. So shout out to Banks. Have a few ideas of something that we could do together. So that's gonna be super dope. But apart from that, like the whole event was super sick. So many of the Busta fam was actually there too. <laughs> It was insane, there were so many of you guys, and shout out to every single one of you, the Busta fam, strongest family on all of YouTube. I'm so excited for everything that's coming up, and I'm so excited to give you guys more content. There's more than 100,000 of you, it's like a small city following me, it's unbelievable. So I wanna give you guys the best content I possibly can, and I'm gonna work so hard to give you guys quality content that you guys can love to watch and love to share and show everyone, because you know what? Without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, and I'm doing this for you guys, so every single one of you who subscribe to this channel, this is all for you. And even if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this is still for you. But why not join the Busta fam and hit that subscribe button down below. So anyway guys, I'm still in the Melrose area, I'm gonna be driving around for a little bit, I'm gonna keep my mask on because there's so many of you guys out here. I was able to find a nice quiet spot to film because everywhere I went there was somebody and you know, before anybody comes around and sees me, I think I might drive away. I'm gonna be hanging out around this area for a little bit and I really have no idea what the plan is for the rest of the day so I'm gonna catch you guys later. What up Busta fam, if you're still watching this, it's the next day after the pop-up. Shout out to Banks for the genius, for the vision, for everything and putting together the whole pop-up. It was unreal, I had such a great time. I didn't really film anything at the event just because of the fact that I wanted to pay respect to Banks, I wanted to be there and support. I got a chance to meet a lot of new, really cool people, so my hands were free and I was really appreciative of that. And also, I couldn't really carry around my camera because of my leg. Anyway, to dive back into the video. First and foremost, before we even get into it actually, do you guys notice something new about my face? I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna wait. Boring. Shout out to my boy and my mask plug, Tariq the Hype Beast. I'm gonna give him a pop tag right here. Give him some love, give him some Busta fam love. Make sure you leave a comment on some of his pictures. He's trying to get into the YouTube game very soon, so make sure you guys wait on him and make sure you subscribe when he does. The mask is super dope, I love it. Thank you, Tariq, you're the real MVP. Just from being around the whole Clout Gang and just chilling with them, I kinda had an idea. 
Why do I only hand out people L's for Yeezys? I can hand out people L's for everything. You know, myself and the Busta fam, we give out the most L's in all of YouTube. So let's make sure we give out some L's today. So something that's been coming up on my YouTube quite a bit recently is this don't judge a book by its cover challenge. And it just seems like the main people who do this are between the ages of eight and like 13. The premise is that you're supposed to not judge somebody by their cover or kind of like what they're portraying from their outside, right? Which is actually a great message when you think about it. But at the same time, the things that they're doing insinuate something else. It, and they end up doing it sometimes and sometimes they don't. So let's just get into it and let's watch it. Oh, you really thought she was gonna drink that and I was gonna cut my hair? Well, I mean, since you had the bottle up to your mouth and you had the scissors up to your hair, what else were you gonna actually do? We weren't. Don't judge a book by its cover. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that really can't be healthy. You, you shouldn't be drinking soap. Cutting half an inch off of your hair is not that wild, but drinking the soap thing is not the best. Don't do that, kids. Do not drink soap. Did you really think I was about to eat this soap? <laughs> well, you're right. She's allowing people to judge her by her cover, and that's kind of defeating the whole purpose. I don't get it. Wait, did you seriously think I was about to throw my dog in the air? You better not throw that dog in the air. What are you doing? Well, you were wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. So, so wait, 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 wait. So we were wrong to judge that you were going to throw the dog, and then you throw the dog. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. So that guy gets an L. L. There we go. Wait, did you really think I was going to knock down this cup tower? Well, you were wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. Because I'm knocking down two. I think I get it. I think this is actually kind of a spoof. I've been seeing some really serious ones, and I guess this is all the ones who aren't serious, but I just don't get it. Like, what's the point of this? Did you really think I was about to shave off my eyebrows? Well, you was wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. See, that one was actually serious. She actually said the don't judge a book by its cover challenge or whatever. But then, like, I just don't get it. Like, you're putting a freaking shaver, razor thing on your eyebrows. Like, what? why are you even doing that? Like... What else could you be doing besides shaving your eyebrows? It, do it just doesn't make any sense. Do you really think I was going to eat this dog food? Don't judge a book by its cover. Hold up. So, you were just asking us if we thought that you were about to eat dog food, and then you ate dog food, and then you asked us not to judge you by your cover, as in you eating dog food. Play the video. Wait, did you really think I was gonna cut my hair? Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna cut off my eyebrows. Wait. So that dude actually almost just cut off his eyebrows, but he paused it right before he actually did, so that guy gets an L. I mean, everybody, damn it, L. I can... Did you really think I was about to do the don't judge a book by its cover challenge? Well, you're wrong. Wait, what am I doing here? Shout out to that kid. That one was actually pretty funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Did you really think I was gonna put on makeup? Well, you're wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. That girl was adorable. I'm not even gonna say anything. Wait, did you really think I was gonna work out? <laughs> Never judge a book by its cover. That guy doesn't even lift. Like, bruh. Like, you, you... Pick up those weights, get 10 more of them, and then start lifting. I shouldn't really be talking because I haven't gone to the gym in over a month, but hey, I have an excuse. You don't have any excuse. Do you even skate? This, I bet this dude doesn't even skate. He doesn't work out when he has dumbbells in his hand, and he doesn't skate, and he's wearing a Thrasher sweatshirt. Oh, I'm judging a book by its cover so hard right now. Oh, what a pretty flower. Wait, did you actually think that I was going to pick this flower? Well, you're wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> so she didn't pick the flower, she ate it. 
That can't be healthy. Wait, did you actually think that I was gonna use this pencil? Never did. Never just put my pencil. Okay, get another round. We can do it. Yes, I can. <laughs> you can use the pencil. <laughs> this is really getting cringier than Instagram comedy. Wait, hold on. You actually thought I wasn't gonna eat this chip? Well, you were wrong. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. Well, that kid had the cloud glasses on, and he was eating Lay's, but I'm still having a hard time trying to realize exactly what the point of that was. Keep going. Hold up. Did you actually think I was gonna drink this hot sauce? Yeah. You're wrong. Never judge a book by its cover. And she's gonna drink it. I called it. I knew it. <laughs> Did you think I was gonna drink this? I wasn't. You thought wrong. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. You are so petty. You thought I was gonna text back? Well, you thought wrong. I glowed up. Don't judge a book by its cover. That was the whole video. That was so cringy. Like the word cringe is literally in the title, but like, what are these challenges? The only challenge that actually had some sort of meaning was the ice bucket challenge. Like, I did that. I think everybody wanted to do that because it actually had a good cause. But, this, like, what is this? This isn't even teaching kids how to do anything besides drink soap. <sighs> Regardless, there are so many L's to be handed out on YouTube. And there's not enough YouTubers to hand them out. And I promise, I'm going to start handing L's to... All these dudes on YouTube for being fake and not being real because I'm Yeezy Busta, but I'm also Busta. You guys will see me busting everybody now for just g being L's. I gotta hand out these L's, man. Like, come on. We gotta, let's do it together. The Busta fam about to bust all of these dudes on YouTube, all of these challenges, all this fake stuff on YouTube. Let's do a Busta fam. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you did like this video, Please leave a like down below and make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. And make sure you have your post notifications on so you guys can see every single video. Go click that right now. I appreciate you guys one more time. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.